Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So today we've got a really unique trailer we want to show you. Uh, it, it's a two plus one with a living quarters. Now, for our two plus one enthusiasts out there, you know, most of those customers have those big warm bloods, you know, just big horses. They, they need that extra height to accommodate them. Uh, where we typically see that on our living quarters because we usually build those trailers a little bit taller for you so you get a little bit more room when we get up in the living quarters, especially in the, the neck area. But again, these trailers do not come along very often. Uh, we originally sold this trailer. Uh, things change, we understand that. Maybe, uh, you know, just life in general changes. So these customers bought it brand new. They didn't need the trailer anymore. Things change, so we ended up buying the trailer back. So we do take trade-ins here. If you're looking to upgrade into a newer trailer, uh, if you've got an extra trailer sitting around you want to turn it into some cash, give us a call. We can, we can do a buy bid for you and just buy the trailer out, outright from you where you're not having to deal with you know, people coming to your place and the tire kickers and all the questions and it's just simple process. So give us a call if you're interested in something like that. But this is a used Cimarron 2 Plus 1 living quarters. Let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing of the trailer first so we can show you how the trailer lays out itself. So I'll hit on some specs for you. It is 35.6 on the floor. It's 7.7 seven tall. It's eight foot wide. Then if you look back at the stall area, again, we're looking at more of a traditional two plus one. So two horse straight load with a box stall in the front. Now I'll get into kind of some of that information in a little bit, uh, but let's also then take a look at the uh, living quarters itself. So what we're looking at is this is an outlaw conversion. It is a 13-4 straight wall. And again, it's a straight wall and I'll show you why we did that when we get into the two plus one box stall setup of this trailer. But this is a used trailer. So let's talk a little bit about what we do to these trailers when they come in here at TransWest. We feel like we take them quite a bit further than a lot of other dealerships do. Um, you know, when we first bring them in, we assess tires, we give it a, a good acid wash, really clean up the trailer for you. Uh, but then we've got two different shops. So with this one be a living quarters, it'll go across the street to our motorhome division over there at that shop and it'll have the whole household gone through over there. So we'll check water systems, we'll check LP systems, we'll check appliances, we service, a, you know, your AC unit, your refrigerator, your hot water heater. Um, then when it's done over there, it comes over to the chassis shop where we will go ahead and put this trailer through. We'll realign it. We'll service the generator with this. This one is equipped with the generator I'll show you. Uh, we'll service that and then we put it on a Viz machine. But then we also go through the trailer pretty thoroughly. Tack room, exterior, um, stall area, just making any adjustments, making any repairs we want to. It's not a brand new trailer and we're not going to paint you the picture of this is a brand new trailer because it is not. Um, it is used. Uh, that's a lot of people will throw that out there. It's like new. Yes, condition, it's in very good condition, but it is a brand, it's not a brand new trailer. It is used. But let's walk you through this. I'll walk you through a couple different things before we really dive into it. When this trailer was originally purchased, because it's an outlaw conversion, you get a three year living quarters warranty at that point. So that original purchase date was, I got a little cheater on my hand, October 12th of 2019. So you will be able to transfer the remaining living quarters warranty over to you. It's $150 to do that. Uh, we've got the forms here. You write a checked outlaw conversions. We'll fill out the form with you. You sign it, we'll send it in. Then the, trans the warranty will transfer from that date forward uh, to the remaining amount on there. So let's take a look at the trailer. Again, this is a 2018 Cimarron. So we're talking all aluminum construction here. Then we're topping it off with an outlaw conversion hardwood cabinetry. This trailer empty weighs 13,400 pounds. So, I mean, it's 35 foot on the floor, but you know, it's still only 13,400 empty. So, uh, you know, nothing, nothing's real substantial. Um, but let's take a look at this. We'll show you how it's equipped. Underneath here, we've got a single leg electric over hydraulic jack. So they're real responsive. We have a manual override on these. So if we get in a emergency situation where we have to get it on or off the truck, we can do that with a hand pump. Two 30 pound LP bottles. We're a big fan of the bigger LP bottles on these trailers. 
because you know you're not having to change them as much we understand there's a potential of you using um, some propane a lot of times you know if you hook if you get uh, hooked up to power you know you're not using the the LP for our refrigerator or our hot water heater um, we'll be able to use that on the electric side but you know as you're on the way to a show you know your refrigerator if you want everything nice and cold when you're in transit you know you're gonna have to have these LP bottles with 12 volt power two house batteries battery disconnect everything's really labeled well but that battery disconnect is fantastic because when we're done using this trailer you know we can turn that off it'll kill power to it where we're not having a dead battery when we walk up to the trailer you got that aluminum box I want to point out a couple things so just beyond the bottles here I want you to notice there is our city water fill that connection there so when you hook up to city water it'll bypass your fresh water so we're not using that fresh water that's on board there and then also there's an exterior spigot so if you need to fill up a bucket uh, maybe you're traveling with a, a, a dog you want to fill up their water or just rinse off your hands you've got that exterior spigot as well and then Outlaw and Cimarron do a really good job. Um, you know, they, they go ahead, Outlaw does, and install this uh, carrier for our sewer hose. It's up out of the way. Uh, I kind of personally like to carry a box of gloves. Um, there's some room in that battery box that you can throw that. You know, you can put on those gloves, dump your hoses, put it away, and then just dispose them, throw them away. But that's a good, good spot to keep those in that battery box there. So let's take a look at this. Again, this is a 13.4 straight wall by Outlaw Conversions. We have a nice heavy duty door here going into the LQ with the retractable screen, keeping the flies, any bugs out. And then also you can get some fresh air in here. Well, let's take a look. Obviously you've got a, a sleeping area up in the neck, you got a nice memory foam mattress, a lot of storage. You got storage cabinets up front, storage cabinets on either side of the bed. Those overhead cabinets continue as we get over here to the couch area. And then we've got that sofa sleeper. So this is a jackknife style, so it's, it folds down into a secondary bed. Our fresh water tank is actually located underneath this. And then you also got this little bench over here, which is kind of cool because you get another little place to sit. Some more storage underneath it. And then up above, as you can see right up here, we've got a whole lot of stuff going on. So we've got our radio, we've got our satellite, we have our controls for the generator itself. So this is an Onan 4000 gas generator, but I can start it see fuel level from right here this has an electric awning so I can run that in and out and then everything's labeled really well as to what these switches go to as we're looking here in the cabin you know these outlaws are so well built and they really hold up extremely well uh, so it's a really sought-after trailer you know this one I don't expect to stick around long because it is you don't see very many of them out here here we got a flat screen TV, so it hinges so we can pivot it different directions. Convection oven. The convection ovens have a bigger footprint than a standard microwave, uh, but you get those extra abilities to cook in different ways. So you're gonna lose a little cabinet space here, but again, the trade-off is you can do a lot more with these convection ovens. Directly below that is a two burner cooktop. We got a recessed cover on it, which I'm a big fan of these recessed uh, covers because you know if you're not using this cooktop you can go ahead and set it down and we just have all this counter space here same thing we've got a cover for the kitchen sink a lot more storage there we got some drawers we got another cabinet then we've got a 6-0 refrigerator and freezer so you get the ability to have a separate freezer, good amount of refrigerator space in there as well. 
And then as we go into the bathroom, we've got a pocket door. So again, we don't have to worry about a door hinging one way or the other. So it's really nice, it tucks out of the way. Porcelain toilet. Nice big bathroom vanity, a lot of counter space. This is something you don't see on a lot of trailers. You know, usually you have your sink with a little bit of counter, a little bit of counter, and that's it. To where here, you know, we've got the ability to have a lot of counter space, nice sink, and then a lot of storage here in the actual vanity itself. Dual doors with the mirrors. And then we've got the radius shower with a skylight, so it gives you a little bit more headroom. You get some of that natural lighting in this bathroom. And then you've got a closet back there. Two clothes rods. There's the table and the leg for the for the sofa. But when when we go to open and close all of these cabinet doors and drawers and these outlaws, everything is so smooth, but it's sturdy. I mean, you can feel the weight of that hardwood cabinetry in there. Everything, I mean, seals and shuts exactly how it should. And they do that over time. As long as you take care of these trailers, you know, this is, this is a custom home here. Soft touch walls, soft touch ceiling. They just do a really good job. Everything's ducted, so we get really good airflow throughout this trailer, keeping the cabin nice and nice and cool or nice and warm uh, consistently throughout it. You know, a lot of lights throughout. Speakers in the the ceiling as well. So then, when you come outside, you can roll out that electric awning. You've got some lights. You've got more. You've got some exterior speakers here. They're weatherproof, so we can change over to out here, entertain. Really good setup right there. So now as we get into this two plus one, this is where this trailer is really unique. So as you can see, we've got a side ramp. And probably what we'll do is we'll keep working our way to the back. We'll go into the stall area. We'll work our way out that, that direction. But again, side ramp with the Dutch door above it. You know, this is a traditional two horse straight load with the box stall load. So where the horse's head is, we're gonna have drop windows on each side, bus windows over their hip. This is two 8,000 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles. These are 17 five inch wheels with big heavy duty Michelin tires. So a really good uh, tread underneath this trailer here. We've got a six foot sheeted hay rack up on the roof. And then directly behind it is a platform with that Onan generator. Now I'm gonna show you something that's a little bit unique on this trailer and why we did it this way. I'm gonna get this Dutch door out of the way. But we've got this big storage door here. Now this is, this is a shallow uh, manger here, but we'll, again, we'll show you why we did it. Uh, this way, but we wanted to give you an access door on the outside here, so you do have the ability to throw some smaller miscellaneous items in this. That's kind of one of the trickier things when you're dealing with a, a straight load, you know, or a two plus one setup is, you know, compared to our more traditional living quarters trailer slant loads where we have the ability to put mangers on them. Um, we don't, we can't create as much as storage, but on this one, we put that little uh, storage area on there. And again, I'll show you why here. So as we get into the back of this trailer, rear ramp with Dutch doors above it, again, kind of more of that traditional two plus one setup that you're used to seeing. I removed one butt bar, so we have a divider here, again, straight load. So we can load the horses directly in here. Solid divider, padded. You know, everything's got a radius to it, so everything's nice and smooth. You know, nothing protruding out. But on this, with it being eight wide, we'd normally have a wheel well and a wheel well on either side of this. So we went ahead on this side over here to actually put fuel to our onboard generator. Our fuel cell's actually located right here, but it's all sealed off. They've done a really good job there. You know, we have the kick mats, everything's nice and smooth. 
but over here is actually our fuel cell. So we wanted to match it so it didn't look odd. So again, that's where we created that storage for you. And that's what's on the outside of this one over here. But again, our, our traditional straight load, you've got chest bars, again, the butt bars. We've got a head grill that'll swivel as well. If you wanted to create two box stalls, it can easily be done. Uh, you and one other person, just because of the awkwardness of the length, it's not really that heavy, but the awkwardness of the length, I can unpin this whole piece right here and out it can go. And then we've got one big box stall here and then we can work into a second box stall up here. So this trailer could be used for other things as well. So maybe you're you know, carrying some mares and foals now and then, or hey, maybe you wanna haul some toys. You can take all this stuff out and you've got basically a big garage back here. And then I'm gonna shut one of these guys here. This is an actual stud gate. So we've got them on each side. So again, that's how we can create those two box stalls Got the jail bars for airflow. You know, everything's, there's no metal to metal. Everything's got plastic to metal. So those anti-rattle latches are really nice. So they're not banging around, creating a lot more noise in here for the horses as we're driving down the road. But really simple to open and then pin right in. So they're out, you're not having to hold this, this door open as you're offloading horses. But what the other nice thing is you can open these guys up, load, you can duck underneath, shut this door, and you can either go out the side ramp or the access door. But it flows really well. Now, this first box stall is actually a little bit bigger than our, our traditional two plus one setups that we do on the Cimarron's. Uh, the reason for that is, is the other trickier thing on these is now we have the living quarters you know, adding a mid tack would make this trailer even longer. Um, so what we did was we made this the actual tack room. This is the back side of it. We'll work our way around and, and I'll show you that from the outside. But we wanted this to still have a real good flow to it. Um, you know, not be really tight and just potentially making the horses a little uncomfortable. We wanted it to be open and flow really well. So we added a little bit of link to this first box stall. That way when you're offloading, you know, this is a real wide opening right here. We're not having to worry about a really tight spot the horses are trying to go through. So we can offload right here to the side ramp. We've got a strap that goes across here. So again, if you wanna tie somebody up in that first stall, you can do that as well. Uh, but that is a safety feature. We like the straps on these bigger openings uh, because once you go ahead and break that loose, if a horse hits it, that's a large piece of metal that could be swinging at you where the, the strap will just fall to the ground. But again, a great, great flow coming out of the trailer with having the, the two plus one set up with the side ramp. And I'm not sure if our audio is picking it up at all, but this whole time we've been, you know, walking through this trailer, we've actually had the Onan generator running. Uh, I believe on the hour meter it had about 67 hours on it. So it's been run, but hasn't been run a lot. That's, that's a, for this age of a trailer, that's a good amount of uh, hours there that you know it runs, you know it works, we've serviced it, you're good to go. That, that'll last you a long time. So as we get over here to, to driver's side, like I mentioned when we were in the stall area, in this back corner was our fuel cell. So here's our fuel fill right here. So we can fuel up the pickup, pull up to the pump, put gas in there to run our, uh, our onboard generator. Right here's an easy angle ladder. So again, we're dealing with a rear ramp with Dutch doors. So now it's kind of like, well, where are we gonna put the ladder? This is an eight foot wide trailer. So doing a bolt on the, the, the ladder would stick out, you know, a good amount off the trailer, which we don't like, but we, actually prefer these easy angle ladders rather than the bolt-ons just because of the ease of using them you know it's a lot easier going up the side of this trailer the way this is with the ladders you know leaned against it uh, rather than going straight up and down there's that other drop window and then here's our access door for that box stall I'll go ahead and shut it because again what we were showing you 
was the tack room just ahead. And there it is. So completely sealed off. You know, there's a lot of room and there, a lot of floor space too. Two blanket bars, three saddle pads, a lot of hooks, carpet behind the hooks on the walls there. Uh, these pads and blanket poles are adjustable. So you can add more, you can spread them out, you can put them wherever you want. More hooks on the door, brush tray for smaller miscellaneous items. And the other thing is, is we like to put these fold up steps on these door openings. You know, if you're flat footed, having to go up and over this lip, and now you're trying to load saddles in here, boy, it's a lot simpler to having, having whatever your saddle is stepping up here and then setting them on here. Especially those higher uh, saddle pads up there. You'll notice that there's load lights throughout as well. You know, there's one of those 16 inch awning lights right above the ramp. And then we've got two over here on this side. We kind of split this one between the access door, the tack door, and then one kind of back over that, uh, that drop window there for those horses. So as you can see, this trailer was really well cared for. Um, again, I'm not gonna tell you it's new, because it's not, it's used. But this was a very, very well cared for and really good condition trailer. So again, if you're in the market for that two plus one LQ, again, there's not many of them out there. It's gonna take you a long time to build one. And boy, that's gonna have a hefty price tag in today's market as well. So, you know, you can, you can potentially have somebody else take that depreciation by driving it over to the curb and you can get into something at a good price. So this is a 2018 Cimarron North Star two plus one LQ. Again, maybe you wanna use it for some toys. Uh, you can convert that back area into a garage and or do both if you want to. So stock number is 5U210711. If you have any questions on this trailer, anything else we have, give us a call. Anyone on the sales team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in, have a good day.